good morning it's friday i'm so excited i feel like this week went by so much slower than other weeks so really ready for the weekend we have really fun plans coming up tonight is just kind of more low-key and then tomorrow we're going to wilmington luke and i went to school there and we stayed there a couple years after graduating so it's a really really special place for us and i can't wait to kind of show you guys where we visit where we go so we're gonna meet up with some friends but i can't wait so i'm going to just go ahead and go to the gym get the day started i think we'll take murphy for a long walk around downtown raleigh and yeah happy friday everyone the first step is to fill up my water bottle this is one i use every single day i try to drink all of it luke got it for me from amazon and it's been great i feel so hydrated and i can honestly tell a difference when i don't drink it and i think it's just a good habit to have so even if you don't drink the whole thing at least you're kind of taking track of what you're drinking i will say though i do not bring this out of the house because i know people will judge me so it only stays in this in this home <laughs> good morning murphy happy friday every morning i also will take athletic greens i have really found that i liked that and then i also will take a woman's health probiotic my gynecologist actually recommended that to me of course i'm not a doctor so <laughs> consult with one but this is just what kind of works for me what makes me feel good and um yeah i will also eat a banana before i work out i don't like a big meal before i work out especially because it's so early in the morning but i do like a little boost of energy so good and when he's sitting like this how can you not give him a little bit so he's very gentle gentle look oh that was a gentle boy I just got back from the gym. I ran six miles, which I felt great about. And now I'm going to wash my face, rinse off, and then we're gonna take Murphy on a long walk downtown and maybe go to a coffee shop, but just enjoy the morning. It's kind of cold, but it's gonna be really nice out. I know. I don't think we'll be going out tonight. <laughs> Luke and I and another one of our friend couples are planning a trip to Switzerland in less than a month. I probably will have another haul in the next two weeks because I think I'm going to rent a couple of clothes on either Newly or Fashion Pass um, to kind of prep for the trip too. I only have limited budget because I want to be spending a lot of money when I'm actually there too. So wanting to be mindful of that. I obviously don't have an endless bank account, even though I wish I did. So this is the long sleeve top. It is super basic. I feel like the line by K, that's kind of like what they're known for. They're known for like their simple staple pieces with a little twist. Um, so you can see that this is a 
just regular long sleeve white top and then there's like a little bunching moment <laughs> by the uh, neckline which I personally love I think it kind of just elevates it a little bit I have a sports bra underneath this so I kind of would try to have to figure out whether I would put like nippies or something to cover up that because it's kind of sheer but it's really cute I hope you can see kind of with the lighting but this is the neckline yeah, this is it I have white jeans on so it probably doesn't do it justice and then don't mind the sports bra but I think it is very cute <laughs> Murphy's chewing on a bone and then the next item that I was so excited about these things are so cute and I definitely didn't think I could rock them but I'm going to Switzerland so I'm forcing myself to do it I don't even know if people use these wear these in Switzerland and mind you I do have a small head but I think it's supposed to be bigger anyway and then I would do my hair a lot better than I have it now but is this not so cute like i don't know i just feel like this is a vibe even with a black turtleneck um and i've been wearing hats more so i think this is a move i got this from free people it actually wasn't that bad it was like 38 bucks i kind of look ridiculous and this is like 98 dollars kind of expensive but I think it was worth it. All right, thanks for coming to my haul. So we're heading into the dog park right now. <laughs> we're here probably three to four times a week if it's really nice, but it's been raining and cold, so we haven't been, oh go. And honestly, it gives us a boost of energy and serotonin, because it's so funny to watch all the dogs play with each other, and I just love it. The dog That's park cool. is my mental, or what is it, like my therapist? Because she talks to all the dogs. <laughs> Alright, so this is the aftermath of going to the dog park after it's rained. Murph and I both took an L today. What have I walked into? You guys ready for, for a walk? This thing's huge, Kevin. I think we might need a new hat. Put it on me. I think you gotta find a different one. No. Why? This is massive. <laughs> Does it fit now? <laughs> We're going for a walk outside to take Murphy to the bathroom. Happy Saturday. Luke and I made it to Wilmington like an hour ago so we walked the loop and that was really nice it's gorgeous outside it's 55 degrees but there's no wind at all so it's just gorgeous it's making me want to move back here <laughs> we love it here um but luke's inside his house that he rents out in wilmington he owns a house here and he rents it out to really awesome tenants and um, they're actually moving out early so he's just talking about what's going to happen next year with the house but welcome back happy weekend i love saturdays we are like i said just in wilmington hanging out we're actually going to go meet up with my two friends who used to live in Wilmington and we were all in a sorority together. I went to UNC Wilmington and I was in FIMU. We're going to meet them at lunch. My friend Abby and Mitch just got engaged last night so it's just ironic that we're here in town the same time that they got engaged which I love. I think we'll be meeting up with some of Luke's friends later this afternoon going downtown and just hanging out. I just 
absolutely adore coming here and it's only a two hour drive from where we're at in Raleigh so it's very convenient and we still have a lot of friends that are in the area um, but yeah I just feel like the alignment of coming here this weekend worked out so well I feel like last year there was a lot of change in our lives but this year is really about slowing down and kind of just appreciating what we have I don't know just little things like that that when you take the time to kind of realize what's happening in your life and that puzzle pieces are coming together for a reason, it feels really good. And I know it's just us visiting the town, so it's not even anything crazy, but I'm such a believer in finding things that the universe is showing and giving to you. So just something to, to think about. Just crazy that my friend also is getting married She's the first in our friend group, and I'm so, so excited for her and her fiance, Mitch, which is crazy to think about, but, and I'm going to take Murphy on a little walk around here because he's been in the car. And I did my makeup, and I'm wearing that shirt that I was showing you guys yesterday. I really like it. So this is the house. You can't really see it because there's a couple of fences, but just a super cute. And this is the little neighborhood. There's two cul-de-sacs over here and then over here. And then over there is a tennis court. And then behind the tennis court is a pool. something sweet from Sundays, which is on the south end part of Wrightsville Beach. I'm kind of hungry. I haven't really ate breakfast, so I kind of just want something sweet, and it's a really cute spot inside, and we can bring Murphy. Those are the plans. So we just got finished eating at Dockside and now we're at the Sarling. <coughs> we're oh in the cargo district, which is right in between like the campus of UNC Wilmington and then downtown Wilmington. And it's like an upcoming spot, but since we've been here, they've made so many different changes. So it's really, really cool. Yeah. We're meeting up with Garrett and his girlfriend Lauren. I can't wait to show you guys kind of like the cargo district is what they call it. The dock side was a lot of fun. I only have like a small clip from it, but it is good seeing the newly engaged. It's crazy to see though, all the changes. Like I don't even think they, is this the main di cargo district area? Mm -hmm. Like with the burger spot and then. Well, that's what the burger spot was right there, but now it's called Beat Street is what I was saying. This is crazy. This is why it's called the Cargo District. They have a little neighborhood that's quite yeah. literally made out of cargo They're all supplies. like apartments, some are stores, and then down here you can show a sign. There's like a bunch of businesses and stuff. So cute. And they've built all of this out. So a couple of these restaurants and businesses hadn't been here since we had moved. So this is the place we're going to. ended up leaving Wilmington late last night after dinner just because we were kind of tired and wanted to wake up in our own bed so we ended up leaving which is kind of sad we had such a good day hanging out with a lot of friends and getting drinks and food which is really fun but it is nice to wake up in your own bed after 
like a really long day. We are making breakfast. I'm making these banana pancakes. They're so good. I saw a recipe on Sammy Clark's TikTok or Instagram. I forget which one it was, but we're about to make some and like they're our personal favorite. These are the pancakes that I just made. So good. I was born Muslim and it's important to my dad, so I think she <laughs> Sing it. Oh, you know. Sing it. You got my love. So Luke and I are about to go take Murphy on a run, but we just got finished watching a movie called You People. <laughs> Luke corrected me, but it was so funny. It was with Jonah Hill and a couple of other like really famous actors and actresses, but it was hysterical. So if you're looking for something to watch on Netflix, highly recommend, but it's 50 degrees out, so not too cold, but we need to move our bodies. So we're going for a run. Woo! Murphy, really? Murphy. Sit. You didn't even eat the chip. He's so weird like that. Two, three miles. Oh, two. Two miles? Oh, yes. Okay. So we're gonna run two miles. Ah! We just got back in from the run. We did. 2.36 miles Really good stuff. Now I feel good. So this is my lunch for today kind of random, but I'm obsessed with it It's just tuna with mayo Buffalo sauce salt and pepper and then I have it with these really good chips from the brand Siete They have really good clean ingredients On the back can't really see but this is such a move Definitely random, but so, so, so good. That's gonna be it for the vlog. I had a really fun time kind of showing you guys Wilmington and then finishing out the rest of the weekend here in Raleigh. But we'll see you next time.